Hey guys, welcome to my third Minecraft mod tutorial. I'll be showing you guys how to make your own custom blocks generate randomly when you make your own map. Which is actually a lot easier to do than what you think. So, first off, I'm going to open Eclipse so I can edit the Java files. You can use uh, whatever you like. Some people like Notepad++, Notepad, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just as long as you can edit them. Okay, so... Uh, this is the crafting manager class from the previous tutorial. Uh, as you can see, we just added in, uh, you can make a block of plutonium out of a 2x2 two two of dirt. And if you look back at our block class, we uh, made our own plutonium block. Uh, one note from the previous tutorial is uh, right here I had block stone instead of block ore. Uh, like this, block stone. And I found out that if you mine it, it will drop drop a block of cobblestone instead of your own custom stone. So I changed it from block stone to block ore, and it fixed it. Uh, another note is I'm also using Minecraft Beta 1.4, which uh, to if you want to install the MCP, because you're gonna have to to move it over to your real Minecraft. But to install it, everything is the exact same. All you do is instead of downloading the MCP for 1.3 it's just 1.4 and then the you need to go to the Minecraft website and get the new Minecraft server for 1.4 and everything is the exact same just decompile it everything so once you do that which is what I've done so I'm just gonna go to C MCP and the Java class we need to edit is called chunk provider generate Java so I'm going to go ahead and open that, so go to your C drive, MCP file, and then it's under sources, minecraft.net, minecraft source. And it's called chunk provider generate.java. And just go ahead and open it. And this is the Java file that seems to generate the terrain. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it, but... I just know enough where I can make my blocks spawn randomly. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to figure out what everything's going on when you have variables like J1 or A, B, stuff like that. So if you come down to the function called uh, populate, you'll see that uh, in these w there's uh, these world gen stuff, and it'll say block.water still or block.lava. Let's see, this generates dungeons, uh, dirt, gravel, you see stuff like that. So, so before you do anything, you want to figure out how rare or how often you want your custom block to spawn. If you want it to uh, be like coal, then you can just copy this block. I'm just going to copy this and paste it right underneath. And instead of saying or coal, you just say plutonium block or whatever your variable name is and it will generate it randomly so I'm actually gonna leave it like that cuz I'm gonna model mine off coal for this part anyways but if you want it like diamond as rare as diamond just copy this black and or block and put it underneath and you can just take a look at other ones uh, plant if you want a block to spawn instead of a plant, you could put something there. And you don't necessarily have to copy these blocks. If, for instance, you don't want any diamond to spawn, you can just delete it. Or you could replace diamond with your own block by just taking out this and putting in your plutonium block. So that's all you have to do. So I'm just going to put a my mod comment over this. And I am going to open my MCP file and hit recompile. And that should be all you have to do. So I'm just going to compile and show you guys. As soon as it compiles here. Okay. So it's done compiling. I'm going to run the test game. Open this up. Okay, I'm just gonna 
create a new world and let it generate and then we'll go look for some of the our custom blocks and doesn't look like there's any mountains around here where you know where coal would spawn so uh, I'm gonna skip over to my other world that I already found some so we don't have to spend an hour looking for any so I'm just gonna get out of this and I'm gonna go to test generate this is one I already tested and I found some see there's our plutonium that spawned naturally and if you notice I found some coal here so not only it doesn't replace coal but it also uh, spawns your plutonium with it so I'm sure if I went around some more and I could find some more so uh, anyways that's how you create your own custom block uh, I guess found some more there so it's not all too rare so looks good to me so that's how you uh, make your own custom block spawn and hopefully uh, you guys don't have any problems so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again at another tutorial thanks